and Lucina. So yeah. do you know Nate said that Blastburn was supposed to be seated higher than him? Is that right? Yes, he was. Okay, so it is. I was right. So I know he always comes with two friends. I just didn't know, like, who was who. I'm interested to see how this pans out because I've seen a lot of good Pokemon trainer stuff and I've not heard very much out of Lucas Mains yet. Yeah. So I am uh, kind of biased. I kind of want to see Akiyoka win. Uh, but I mean, I like, I want to see. I don't I think that's going to happen, though. I, I, I mean, like, I'll be interested. He's getting some sweet combos with this Ivysaur. The Ivysaur's looking fresh right that now. That movement is looking nice. Yep. Well, if we're going to do movement on Pokemon Trainer, I got to see the Squirtle. Yeah. Yep. Squirrel be moving. I also don't like the voice that they use for Ivysaur. <laughs> Ivysaur does not sound right it's at all. It's too manly. Yeah, it's way too manly. <laughs> sounds literally like a guy, like, 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 like uh, Ryu or something. An anime teacher. Yeah. Okay, so that was interesting. That was a smart switch to uh, get the recovery, and then he also can tank harder too with his. Uh, oh, right, that was nuts. Ooh. Yeah, don't let those fly. I anymore. did not think that. So He's about to do it. He's about to do it. So, okay, I don't know what he, he was doing because yeah, he, oh. uh, Akiyoko was dead. All the spaghetti. <laughs> Akiyoko was dead there too, I think. Uh, all of the spaghetti. I just watched all of them die. Yeah. Like three times. Yeah, this is uh, looking yeah, pretty he's nice. Yeah, he's just keeping them out right now. So yeah, this I, I don't really is know looking pretty nice. Like, I can clearly see that there's an advantage state, but I don't know what um, Aki can do minus either just outplaying him or a character switch. I don't think there's any real issue with his strategy as it is. It's just not working. Yeah. But uh, now he's getting some momentum, so we may soon... I may soon eat my words. Yeah. This is uh, it's looking like they're both playing pretty passive just, just looking for out. yeah looking for uh, opportunities the day just ones just feeling out the matchup yeah it's gonna be uh, the first few weeks of play is gonna be kind of in this vein where people are just feeling things out collecting data yeah this up here is looking strong from Ivysaur and my words have been eaten we have the Ivysaur movement. with two stocks at 84 percent currently yeah Pokemon trainer is looking pretty good yeah it's not, n you know, you think like, out of all of them, Squirtle would be the best because he has that. He's such fast movement, but you know, it's he's making his Ivysaur look moves, good. Though. Squirtle's movement's great. Oh, oh my goodness! That's it. That's it. Yep. Well played. All right. One Aki. Game two coming up, and let's see. We can't really call the strikes, but we'll know. We'll know about the stage shortly. What do you think he needs to change besides? Not Who? Aki? Yeah. Akiyoko? No, uh, oh, oh, you mean Blastburn? Blast I, I don't know. I feel like he just doesn't know this matchup very well. Um, I don't think it's favorable to Lucas either. No, and I mean, you could see that Akiyoko looks yeah. super comfortable. Like, he was, he went out for the spike on the down air. I mean, Lucas is a character that everyone's been playing against for the last five years with Smash right. 4, so... You know, he knows how to play against him, and uh, Blastburn probably doesn't know how to play against Pokemon Trainer because no one's played him in since, you know, since Brawl. So, I mean, this is a matchup that I think is just favorable for Akiyoka just based on experience. Yeah, and especially because Squirtle and Ivysaur are the two Pokemon that are going to dominantly be played here as opposed to Charizard. Yeah. Which is the only one people really have an acumen or feel for. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see how this shakes out. But so I is this also Omega F Zero. Uh, yes. Oh, I didn't know this was legal. I. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, okay. I also feel that uh, Lucas is at a disadvantage because of the amount of ways you can get around his tools with Pokemon Trainer, being that there are three different characters as options within the same game. Yeah. And Lucas is a very I don't want to call him a niche character, but he's very option dependent. If you neutralize Ooh. parts of his game, this happens. Yeah. Yeah, I just don't think he has the matchup experience. And I, of course, it is day one, so, like, right. you know, I know Akiyoko plays quite a lot of Smash, and he is, yeah. like, 
Well, this is purely anecdotal, right? And completely perspective. I just don't think this this will ever be a good matchup for Lucas. Um, yeah, probably. If just based were, on how were, this is being played right now, if like... If it were just Charizard, that's fine. But he's barely using Charizard. Yeah, he's he's pretty much just using Ivysaur. We Ivy haven't Sword. even seen the Squirtle. And I think the Squirtle might be worse. Yeah. So it's... I actually, I don't think we'll ever see him. Oh. Wow. No ledge grab. Yeah. So... He, he, he did a bit of a fade back there, and I think that's what cost him. So what I think he's doing is waiting to 100%, so he can just use Charizard Rage. Um, yeah, a, as soon as your health goes into the red, what I've seen a lot of the Pokemon trainers thus far do is switch. Usually at the lowest percent, though, I see them use Squirtle and switch to Ivy around 40 or 50. So that's, yeah. that's what's a bit odd to me about this. Maybe he doesn't like the Squirtle against Yeah, the yeah, you know, maybe he just... Or maybe he's, I don't, just, I don't he's not comfortable with the Squirtle yet at all. Yeah. I really don't know. He's clearly I mean, comfortable this with the Ivysaur. Yeah, this Ivysaur is looking really strong. Yeah. Right, we're about five minutes left on the clock. Looking like this match will be over. And they're playing pretty swift. Yeah. No complaints about game pace thus far. Trying to get that forward wow. smash. Wow. Not getting Luke the... Luke is sitting at Luke 166. Is, Luke is not getting that F smash off. Oh, oh, that stage spike at 47. That was that was bold. That was a bold Wow, he, he I feel like he's it. just he's just uh floundering now. He doesn't know what to do. It's well, clear it's, based it, on how much damage I that think, Aki's gotten. I think he's getting flustered due to the fact that Aki is ready for all of the uh unconventional stuff he's trying to do like that recovery yeah. for example. He was just ready. Yep. And that yep. that'll get anybody flustered when you start going to your I think when you start it. winging it. When wow. you start winging it and going to your stuff that feels good rather than your stuff that's optimal, mm -hmm. and they're still ready for it, you you will inevitably lose your composure. Yeah. The, even the best of them. So we're 2-0 right now. Aki over Blast Burn, and that's right to left. Looks like we're going to Battlefield for game three. Let's see if it can figure something out. So is he, oh. is he switching? He's Pits. switching to Pit. I don't know how I feel I think about that's that. Much, I think that's much better. Yeah, it's probably better for him. Pit's but a more dynamic character. Yeah, but I feel like he's just uh, desperate at this point because clearly uh, Kyoko knows how well, to play it's, against it's like Lucas. It's like I said about Lucas. It's very, like Lucas is so option dependent. If you start cutting off his decision pathways, his decision tree, he gets backed into a corner and then just sort of becomes a placebo. Yep. There's not much you can do. So Whereas yeah. Pitt, Pitt doesn't have overwhelming options, but you can't cut him off. Yeah. And so I think that's a much favorable thing to play, especially in the early stages of the game. Wow. Oh, no. That's... No, oh. he's good. That's Pitt. Yeah, it's come Pitt. On. <laughs> come on. He is... I, I like his uh, courage, we'll say. Yeah. He's really just... He, he doesn't know fear, which I appreciate. Yeah, this Ivysaur sounds like Ryu. I swear I heard Hadouken. Like it's, I would not be surprised if it's <coughs> the same voice actor. Sounds like a JoJo's character. <laughs> oh, that whiff down there. Oh, oh, well done. Yeah, that was that was very. That good. was some strong presence of mind there. So I think he's gonna he break out the Charizard to. now because, with the Charizard, like you know, he hasn't played him much, so he doesn't know his play style. Yeah. I think that's a good move. At least at this far into the game. Because now you're literally... Like, I think it's smart because... Here comes Pit. Oh. Ooh. Uh, he's, he's clearly either played a lot of Pit or just been practicing the edge guards because yeah. he's ready for that. Every time he tries to sneak out there, he almost pays for it. So I think we're going to see Aki actually just try to control the stage a lot more after that. If he takes note of what's happening. So I think it's smart to... Oh, uh, yeah. I think it's smart to uh, keep switching around. Oh, oh there's Squirtle the Squirtle for the first time. Because, see, see what... Oh, he's moving. He's he has, moving. He has three characters to play as, which mm. are can be played as three different play styles. He really... He's favoring the Ivysaur. That's what we're saying here. We're yeah, here. definitely. He is really likes the Ivysaur. Ooh, that F smash. He... I don't know if he, this he's trying is to like, I don't know dude, if the, he might die for that again. He needs to be careful. Yeah, I don't know if that's an optimal move to be honest. It's like, a good move, but it's just no. Like I mean, the trying to edge guard pit like that. It's it, just it's the timing never window's very tight. It's a gamble at this point. Yeah, it's just not working out for him though. Yeah, he has to he has to really be. 
crim improper. Oh. All right. Go, go, go. Well, they will both take that. Both laughing at it. Yeah. So. You an know, even game becomes an even more even game. Yeah. I think they'll probably both be okay with that, considering the fact that it's just been so close, and they I just. I think. I think Pit is significantly worse than Ivysaur in a one stock game, though. Yeah. Because I mean, now look he at doesn't. Th oh. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Did he air dodge? I don't know. Lose his input? I think he just SD'd. I think he. I think he air dodged and lost his input. 